guys welcome to a new episode of card lounge uh, today i'm going to start a new series of adobe if you are familiar with it usually familiar with illustrator photoshop premium pro and so forth i usually use premium pro for editing videos i use illustrator for making my imaging and my architectural drawings and making layouts i use photoshop for images for editing I use Adobe, Adobe After Effects for creating the intros and sign outs of my videos. And so this series is really going to teach you what I know basically as an architect and as I was an architecture student. And so you can use it for rendering your 3Ds. You can use it for making your layouts. So that will kind of be the bias with which I'll be doing my drawings. Um, it will be for if you're an architect, architecture student, landscape design, landscape architect, interior designer, and you just want to use it to create beautiful spaces and do your drawings and it can pretty much also make drafts for your architectural drawings your line drawings so it's like a one stop so you can draft you can do your 3d renders and your sections and whatever things you want to do and then create your layouts and save them um, for printing and you can actually save them in a good way as an adobe file so they're not too heavy for printing so i'm going to take you through all that so join me and I hope you keep on watching. Okay, so you start with your, your screen and then when you open up your Illustrator, you have the work that you worked with previously. But today, for the purposes of introducing you to um, Illustrator, we'll open up a new folder. You can either find it here or up here in File. Um, while it opens, you can choose whatever size of paper you want to work with, but for now, it's not really important, so let's just go with the letter size. We can adjust that however we want. So when it opens, you have different panels that you're working with. Here on the left side, you have your toolbox. Here you have your panels and your icons. And up here you have your editing panels. So the purposes of learning, we're going to go um, each panel at a time. So let us start here with your editing panel. So for the purposes of learning, I want you to first get familiar with the interface. So if you have your um, space here, this is called um, your artboard, and this white space is what, is what you work with. So whatever you put has to be within the boundaries of this white box, or otherwise it wouldn't be saved. And you can have as many um, artboards as you want. For example, if you come down here in your artboard tool, you can have as many as you want. And when you finally save them up, they will save in the particular shapes and sizes that you want. So let us start with the editing panel here. You have your basic uh, file here. You can either open a new project. You can open an existing project or you can start a new project. You can save as and you can export. I'm going to show you pretty much things that are important to me as an architect or that were important to me as an architectural student and that will be the bias which I'm uh, going to teach you. And the good thing about exporting, you can export as many things and um, you can export as a PNG if you want something to work with in Photoshop or in other editing tools. You can also save as a DWG or a DXF if you're going to take it to AutoCAD or Archicad. Uh, JPEG if you just want something finished. Photoshop is there as well. And um, there's so many um, kinds here. And you can also open um, either PDF or a DWG or a JPEG or just as many as you can export. And usually when you, if you save as, it's limited only to saving as an Illustrator or a Photoshop or these. Later on, I'll show you how to save a PDF for printing in case you're making a layout for presentation and you want to take it to the printers. And sometimes it's very heavy and it's such a nightmare when you go to the printers. So I'll show you how to make an optimized PDF um, when, when we're more advanced. So... Um, you have your editing uh, object. This is pretty much the things that are here. Something that I would want to show you are, it has some effects that are for Illustrator, but also has some Photoshop effects. Uh, so that you don't have to go back and forth with Photoshop. And then here in the view, something I would want to show you is if you want to work with a grid 
um, you're working with something very symmetrical and you need to work with a grid, um, you can do that. And also you can make sure you snap to grid. Snap to grid means when you're aligning things, then you can align them according to the grid. So it will snap to those points. Yeah. Um, let's remove the grid and let's remove snap to grid. So right now it's going to only snap to the particular points. And it also has smart guides. That means that when you're working, it will continue looking for the middle points of things. Another thing that could be nice for you is rulers. If you're doing your architectural drawings or something like that, you can show the rulers and they'll come up here and to the side. This you can also see in Photoshop. And what you do, you just press and drag a line and it will be your guide as you're working. Maybe you want to align something. Maybe you have a, a title block that's somewhere here. And so in all your drawings, you want to you want to maintain that kind of, you know. And so what will happen is that every time you, you do a drawing, let me just remove this. Every time you do a drawing, um, it will go according to that. So what you can do is if you press Alt or Option and drag a copy with Shift to keep it aligned, all your drawings will have that line like you'd want. Or if it's the line that you want up, that would be the case. So this would be the line. That can help guide you in so many ways. Um, another thing is here in the Windows. It has a lot of options, especially for this icon area and extra things for the panel that you'd want to work with, aligning, brushes, and so forth, which I will go into more when we go into particular projects. And then you have the help tool where if you're really stuck, then you can type the help that you need and the support that you, you'd want. Okay. Another thing um, is here in the editing. Every time you have an item that you've clicked, you can edit it here, yeah, uh, from the color to the outline to the size and, and so forth. And that's something basic for you for your editing area. And that's it for today. So stay tuned for more episodes with Adobe.